Hello, welcome to Wonderful Magic TV. I'm Wonderful, not Wonderful, Wonderful. That's like Wonderful, but a bit more magic. Do you want to see something that shouldn't exist? Let me explain. See, there's a lot of things that shouldn't exist. For instance, pineapple on pizza, Comic Sans font. Who am I kidding? I like both those things. But this is something that shouldn't exist for a whole other reason. It shouldn't exist because it's impossible. Well, I bet you're asking what this thing is. I'll tell you. This is, well, this is called, it's a thingamajig. A what's it? A doohickey? I'll tell you why it's impossible. Because this white pom-pom is attached to that red pom-pom by a big string. The blue pom-pom is attached to the yellow pom-pom by a little string. When I pull the white pom-pom, the red pom-pom goes up. When I let go of the white pom-pom, the red pom-pom goes down. Because the red pom-pom is connected by a string to the white pom-pom. Now if the string over here is connecting the white one and the red one, then the string over there should not connect the yellow one to the red one. But it does. If this string connects the yellow pom-pom the red pom-pom, then the blue pom-pom should not be connected by a string to the yellow pom-pom. But if the blue one makes the yellow one go up, and the white one makes the blue one go up, and the red one makes the white one go up, that should mean the yellow one does not make the white As you can see, this should not exist. A string should not connect these two things and these two things at the exact same time, but it is fun to do. Even though pulling this one makes that one move and that one move, and pulling this one makes that one move and that one move, and pulling this one makes that one move and that one move and that one move, they're not attached at all. So even though nothing connects them, except for the white one to the red one, and the yellow one to the blue one. When I pull the red one, the yellow one goes up. When I pull the white one, the red one goes up. When I pull the blue one, the red one goes up. And if I pull the yellow one, the blue one goes up. If you want to learn to do magic, you have to start by learning magic tricks. So I want to perform for you one of the first tricks I ever learned. I learned it from a book that I got at a bookstore, or on the internet, or at a library, or from a friend. The point is, books are a great place to learn anything, especially magic. For this trick, I'm going to need a small coin. Or any size coin, really. Um, I'll do small. I'm going to make this coin disappear into nothingness, just by touching it against my elbow. Watch. Oops. One more try. Watch the coin. Gone. If you want to learn that trick, I want you to read. You can learn that trick, or others like it, in almost any beginner magic book. If you want some suggestions, I'll post the links in the notes below. Well, that's all for today's episode of Wonderful Magic TV. I hope you had fun. Please remember, like the video, subscribe to the channel, then you'll know when each new episode comes out. And I'll be posting a new episode next week, and the week after that, and the week after that, and the week after that. That's all for now, but remember, a lot of things can be wonderful, but only magic can be... Wow!